Are you looking for some math board games? Every year for Christmas, as a gift, we usually try to get our kids some kind of educational type of thing. And my wife came across these two math games that I want to share with you guys today uh, that I think are going to be perfect for our kids. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So we found this one right here. Our daughter is in fourth grade. Our son is in third grade. I figured this would be a really good one, a uh, math game for, um a math game for like uh, middle school kids because and the reason why I say that is because on the back here it says it's for ages 10 plus um, so that's that's kind of the think uh, thought process I have here but we also have this other one right here which I think is gonna be better for kindergartners a, a good math game for kindergartners because this one is for ages 5 plus so we have a little bit of like an easy one for them and then kind of the next step up and then also whenever our two-year-old starts to get into math and understand that as a kindergartner he can play some of these games as well so let me go ahead and show you guys what we got in here oh first of all this this first one the one for middle school kids is called prime club and look at this this is what sold us pretty much well that and some of the reviews that we read about on amazon which i'll link this down in the description below if you guys want to go and read some of those reviews but it has uh the 10 best educational by dr toys we have the uh, uh, academics choice brain toy award winner we have the Parents' Choice Silver Honor. We have the Mom's Choice Awards for honoring excellence. We have the Tillywig Toy Awards uh, for Brainchild. And it's the Dr. Toy's 100 Best Winner. This is a beautiful, colorful mathematics game. That's what it says right there on the front. Uh, this is for one to four players. And it from this is super cool. On the back here, it tells you about how long game time should play. And it's a quick game, 15 to 30 minutes minutes so that's something that you could quickly maybe after a meal you could bust this out with your kids and kind of play as a family let's open this thing up today and see exactly what comes inside the box let's see we gotta get all this uh cellophane stuff off of here do you, you what's your kids favorite subject let me know that down in the comments below because if they like math if they're into math this might be the perfect game for them, uh, depending on their age. Otherwise, this, this other one might be good here, too. So let's see. Let's... Oh, look. Recommended by American Mensa, too. Man, this thing is like... Oh, 2017 National Parenting Product Award winner. Look at this. This thing just has awards all over the box. So once we saw that, we were like, okay, sold. We got to try this thing out. Let's see what we got here. Let me pop this. Come on, come on, lid. Come on. What we got in here? All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Stuff's already falling out. Unedited dad reviews. Okay, so we have, looks like some kind of like registry. Skip the instructions. Go to primeclimbgame.com for video instructions, puzzles, lesson plans for teachers. That's a good sign right there that this is probably going to be good for your kids. And more inspirations. They have something called Tiny Polka Dot that they're trying to uh, advertise. This is it right here. Looks like they have uh, nice big uh, directions here. You can kind of understand if you guys need to pause the video because you lost your directions. If you already have the game, y'all can pause the video and check out some of that right there. Oh, I just saw in the back here that there's some variations to the game as well. This looks like your action card. So there's some kind of cards in here. And then there's that little bit right there. Let's see what's on this page here. Okay, okay. Uh, so it looks like it's... They do... Uh, they do Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division throughout here. And then there's look some variations ab about how you can play the game right there. If you guys want to pause the video and read a little bit about that, look, there's a the whole thing if y'all want to. Uh, this is probably linked up down in the description below as well. That's it. We got a little thing here. We hope you love it. Thank you. Uh, send us some feedback, blah, blah, blah. And then they like this. Okay, there's a card thing here. Roll, move, bump, and draw. And then it has a whole bunch of numbers and things on there. I don't know how to play this yet. We just got this in. We're giving it to a, uh, to our kids for Christmas. What I plan on doing, though, is to come back and do a full-on review of this game and how to play it. But this is your board right here. Solid construction board here, it looks like. It, at least if nobody pulls at it and yanks at it, and you don't have to tape it up like we've had to do in the past. Looks like... 
players start at each corner here. And then the goal I know is to get to uh, number 101. I read that on the back, which is the center here. So apparently you start on the at zero. And then from what I understand, you have some dice. These are your little people right here. Some like little shuttlecock tent looking things. And you have some dice on here. And then you have these cards here as well. I'll give you a little extra bag. What's the extra bag for? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I, I guess to put your cards in. That's probably what that is. So let's, let's open up our cards here. And we'll pop these things out. And it says Prime Club on the back. And then this one says Roll Again. Roll Again, Roll Again. Reverse the digits in your number. So instead of 73, it would be 37. Switch two pawns on the board. Advance to the pawn nearest you. Set them back to start. So what I'm assuming here is that you have to roll the dice and then you have to either use add, subtraction, multiplication, or division to try and get to the spot that you need to be on. But then they have these action cards that can kind of mess you up or help you in, in certain ways. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Sorry. Do y'all remember that game? I've reviewed that actually on the channel before. Uh, that's a, a great introductory game. I think this kind of might be like next level type of um, of math game. Um, but I remember playing Sorry with our kids at a very young age. They were probably like three or four and they were getting the hang of Sorry. So even though this says 10 plus, I think that some kids might be able to pick up on this at a, an even younger age. That's all that's in the box there. It just has this right here, a little divider to hold all your things. And then the board goes obviously on top there. Now, let me put this away and we'll get into the other game as well. Let's see, I want to save these in this little bag here. Um, the other game, like I said, it's more it says five plus on the box there so you can still play it as a family it just might be a little bit easier for some of the smaller kids in your uh household or their friends let me see let me go ahead and put all that right there on top and now we have this one right here this is called race to planet x this one definitely seems a little bit more uh like animated kid friendly that type of stuff not as so uh, not so numerical. Uh, it seems like it has some kind of like, you know, fun story to go with it. Um, two to four players. Uh, game time is fi only 15 minutes. And uh, this it looks like this is going to be our board game. You get some cards on the back there. A power combo. So the idea behind this, which, uh, you know, with Common Core and all that type of stuff, your kids have to learn about number bonds. I had to learn about number bonds. I'd never really uh, seen that whole process before until our kids got into school. I understood it in my head, obviously. But uh, the idea with this is that you have your cards and you create these number bonds and apparently that creates some type of power combo thing that gets you further into the game. This is a super fun for kids, smart family fun, loved by parents. It looks like an award there, but it doesn't really say award on there, so I'm not too sure. Um, again, this is one that my wife picked out after she kind of perused through a whole bunch of these games. Let's see what we got in the box here. Okay, we have... All right, these are our instructions right here. There's introduction, setup, what to do on your turn, uh, example turn, how to win, special cards. Very simple instructions. It seems like it's going to be pretty easy to do. If you guys want to pause the video and read any of that, you can. Oh, there's some stuff on the back here too, some tips for beginners. So they kind of give you guys an idea of like how you should be playing this and what to expect out of it. Let's see, I like the, how small the package is too. You could easily take this uh, like on a trip or something if you're into traveling or maybe even bring it onto an airplane. The board is super small. Check this out. It's a long board as in, it's, I mean, that literally fits in the palm of my hand right there. So it's smaller than an iPad. Um, and you just have, looks like one to 10. So something dealing from one, you gotta go one earth all the way to planet X, which would be number 10. And then you have your little wooden pawns here, the, the four players. So they give you the four colors right there. And then they have cards here with numbers on them. And I'm assuming that you, you use these to create those number bonds so that you can make your way all the way to planet X right there. Super. I think this is going to be really good. Someone who's just kind of starting to learn math, trying to understand it, I think this would be good in a pre-K, kindergarten, maybe even like the beginnings of first grade classroom to... Um, to get uh, kids interested, it's kind of fun. It's it's got all the it look. It's got these cards, some special cards like Smash and UFOs and what's that one? Defend. 
So, you know, definitely, I think this is probably geared a little bit more towards boys, although I think some girls are going to have a lot of fun with it as well. And I think this is a really interesting way to teach number bonds, which is something that for kids can be kind of a hard concept to grasp right from the beginning. So if you guys want to check out either of these games, I'm going to link them up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy checking it out for the first time after my wife ordered it and she told me about it and she told me she read the reviews and that they were great. So uh, I definitely recommend you guys go and check them out. If you guys wanted to, I'll link them up down in the description below. Some great fun games to play as a family that are also very educational as well good for uh, up to middle school and probably even beyond they look uh, they look pretty challenging from a math perspective for kids um, if you guys know of any other great math games let me know those down in the comments below we can kind of come together as a community of dads and probably some moms out there uh, to figure out what some of those best games are or in particular math games in the case of this one if you guys like what we're doing here on dad reviews I'm gonna put some of the other educational games. Actually, whenever I get these reviews done first, I'm after we've played it a few times, I'm going to put those videos on the screen right there if you guys want to see some update videos about these particular products. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to put some other educational products or maybe something that, Google, that YouTube thinks that you like. I'll put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. And dad out.